and it's the same thing over and over again and I get just massive like heart pain and um and I just I just get very confused because I might in the moment be feeling safe about a certain person and then something will happen um and then I I um I then feel upset and I I try to explain how I feel and I never get um treated the way that I would like to be treated and um and um I've I've I have therapy and I have uh, like my therapist was me to do have uh, boundaries and um and then I don't know how boundaries necessarily fit in properly with with this and I get confused and then I feel like I've done something wrong even though I've been really pleasant I just end up with massive amounts of guilt that I've done something wrong and then I punish myself for it and I can't get over it and it just goes round and round in my head and and then with this process I just feel like I can't do it and I just constantly I just I don't know if there's just if it's could it be a belief that a belief that I can't change and I can't change the reflection I don't I just don't believe I can do it it doesn't because it's happening over and over again no matter what I do yeah the um the the belief that the idea that you really really know that you're experiencing over and over is this feeling that you've just uh you've just articulated it you know I can't change this I just can't there's there's a, a feeling of um it just happens over and over again there's nothing I can do about it can you see that that you really know that there's a real agreement with that feeling inside yeah yeah and as yeah. much as it hurts to kind of get in touch with that inside when we do find out what it is that we really know about a certain situation or um, you know, all of us have ideas about certain areas of our life where we really hold on to them for a long time. And um, for me, you know, there were relationships, uh, money, awakening itself, of course, and uh, many others. But whatever you are certain of, you're going to keep experiencing. And in this particular situation, in, in the relationships that you're talking about, there is a real agreement with this idea, I can't change this. And the reason it's being agreed with so completely is because it keeps, uh, the experience keeps happening. Yeah. yeah. And um, our separate sense of self says, well, of course I'm going to keep hold of this feeling because... It's true, it keeps happening. It keeps happening to me. So, of course, I feel this is a good idea to keep a hold of this concept that I'm powerless here to make this any different. Mm -hmm. But if we can begin to forget this idea by recognizing um, it's happening because of my powerful agreement with this idea, rather than what our ego or our mind says that, well, when this stops happening, then I'll drop this idea. I won't need it anymore then. Yeah. But as you so clearly said, so beautifully said, that is not happening, is it? No. no. So if you can see the uh, attitude inside that's really being held on to, a real sense of being powerless to change something, mm -hmm. And then develop a willingness to question if that is so. And then you can begin to move beyond this. You could go on for a very long time believing this idea and experiencing it. But it's becoming so painful because, well, it's been painful for a while, but because um, 
it's been agreed with so much. And the more that you wake up and see what you are as you are doing, what you really are, the more this sense of feeling disempowered and helpless to change anything is, is out of agreement with what you have seen yourself to be. That's why it hurts so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you today mm -hmm. question this idea just a little bit more than you did yesterday? The belief that I can't change it. Yeah. Can you see that something inside really wants to agree with this? And that's okay. We don't need to judge that part of us. Mm -hmm. It's the part of us that works in separation and duality and feels really justified in holding on to this idea because it feels true. Ego says, but... I keep experiencing it. Obviously, this idea is true. Mm -hmm. But it's never going to end that way. It's never going to come to a resolution that way. So is the heart pain, the really bad heart pain, it's like, it feels like my heart's just broken. And it it's over a, and over again. It's a disallowing. The belief. It's a disallowing of the love that is trying to come to you in the form of a relationship. And the love that's trying to come through you as an embodiment of what you really are and have seen yourself to be. So when we, when we pinch off that love by believing some idea, any idea, but whichever idea we're believing, we'll feel it in a particular uh, chakra, you know, and then um, as, a, as a disharmony in the energy flow. And then if it gets bad enough, it will be a strong emotional response and a strong uh, physical response in the end too you know if we really have been agreeing with this idea for a very long time because i believe that i can't change anything my life's just in, in such a mess for so long i just feel like i can't change anything so you can draw a line in the sand right now here with me and say okay i can really see this idea has kept reflecting back to me as all of these experiences Mm -hmm. I can see how powerful I am as the infinite being that I keep experiencing what I'm agreeing with. Mm -hmm. And I can see that trying to wait for my circumstances to change, my relationships in this case to change, and then let go of this idea isn't working. Can you see that? Without well, judgment, without judgment, yeah. So when my therapist tells me to do certain things, should I not be doing them? I get very confused. I think it's good to go with what the therapist is saying. Um, you know, it's helpful. But I'll say from my own experience, I could not set any boundaries until, uh, not consistently at least, until I respected and loved myself. I'd allowed that love for myself to flow. Then it was natural and effortless to say to someone, actually, I'd rather you not treat me this way or could you not say that or, you know, whatever it is that we... We, we call boundaries mm. or to to recognize it's okay to spend some time on my own and then some sp some time with someone else you, you get the sense of it yeah yeah so have I done something wrong then that I shouldn't have said anything absolutely not absolutely not each one of us comes into this lifetime only knowing how to uh, love ourselves conditionally and others mm -hmm. I love you as long as you stay with me. I love you as long as you make me happy. I love you as long as I feel safe with you. You know, all of all of that. There's nothing wrong with that, but it's just not really working for you anymore, is it? As you as you have seen yourself to be something um, that is the source of love, that is love. Mm -hmm. And then loving conditionally like this is no longer working for you. No. In fact, even this idea that you're powerless to change this is playing out even in enforcing these boundaries. You keep experiencing not being able to enforce the healthy boundaries that would reflect your own self-respect. Can you see that? Yeah. I can't, I just boundary. can't do this. I can't change it. It's the essence of feeling a limited separate being. Yeah. And did your bound, did you have your boundaries always been this like bef before and, and or after and there is no before and after but did the way you want to be treated or has it always remained the same i had zero boundaries 
I let everyone walk all over me. I let people treat me terribly, sometimes those closest to me. And uh, that has, I'm happy to say that has turned around um, much to my surprise. You know, sometimes I'll find myself saying something that is coming out of my own self-love and self-respect. And it also happens to be exactly what the other being needs to hear in that moment. Look, please don't talk to me like that or treat me this way or look, I just want to spend some time on my own or, you know, something that I just would not have been able to, to do mm-hmm. before. And I tried to do that so long as a separate being, but because of this feeling that I can't, I can't, I can't feeling of powerlessness. I had to keep experiencing failure over and over again, not being able to do it. Mm-hmm. And when, when there's, it's to do with another person and the energy is the same energy, yeah. is it? That you're both, both beings. Let's say if we're talking about a romantic relationship, both beings in that relationship are experiencing this I can't feeling, this real agreement that I'm powerless. You might be experiencing it as I can't enforce the boundaries that I want to enforce, can't change mm-hmm. this. The other being will be experiencing... I can't allow myself to love this person as I want to love them or treat them the way I want to treat them. Same belief experience, two different ways, but the same frequency. So as you cultivate a willingness to question this belief, even while it's still reflecting, you're not Mm -hmm. waiting for the reflection to change because that will never happen first, never. No, yeah. And if you see that clear enough, then you really get kind of, I got a little bit angry in the end, not angry with myself or anyone, just angry at, I don't want to keep experiencing this over yeah, and over. That's how I feel, yeah. Yeah. So, so you question. turn that anger into determination. Okay. Yeah. You get you get a little bit cheesed off. I was going to say something else and cheesed off with it, <laughs> you know, and um, you light a fire inside to question. Each time you feel this pain, this hurt emotionally or whatever, you... You, you add that as fuel to your fire to question so I, I say um, is it true I can't change this yeah and that, that um, whatever you're just challenging the assumption whichever question feels right you're challenging the assumption this is you're powerless here to change anything mm-hmm. because until we really question it we have to keep experiencing okay yeah Good question. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're very welcome. I'm sure it's helped many people.